Hi everyone, my name is Siddiq Syed, working as a platform consultant in Platformation. Today in this demo session, I would like to show about an integration of application portfolio management with governance risk and compliance. So in our agenda today, we'll discuss about ServiceNow APM, ServiceNow GRC, benefits of integration APM with GRC, and the problems that could be solved with this integration and how it works functionally. Later, let me take you to my demo instance as well to show this how functionality works. APM is a framework for managing IT software applications. It leverages data and functionality from other applications of service modes such as discovery, CMDB, software asset management, service mapping, GPM, and provides with complete overview of your applications and related services. And it, this combined approach supports the process of business applications, supports the process of rationalization, and provides insight in order to reduce risk and cost. Let's look into the ServiceNow GRC. ServiceNow comes with GRC module to enable organizations to automate and to provide broader understanding of all your GRC activities at one place through a dashboard with a real-time monitoring to handle risk in advance. Let's look into some of the benefits of ServiceNow GRC that it helps in improve business resilience, it helps to gain real-time visibility as well, and it helps to increase productivity. And we can have an effective collaboration or communication between risk manager and application owner. Let's look into the benefits of integration of uh, APM with GRC. Uh, in Paris or in later release, uh, we can able to integrate APM with ServiceNow GRC. This integration also helps the application owner to identify risk and mitigate those risks by adding the controls on the business application. It helps a good collaboration between risk manager and application owner, comes with a dashboard, uh, which helps provides various insights to the risk manager. Let's look into the problems that has been solved with this integration, that it helps to analyze the risk associated within the organizational assets, such as hardware, software, and business application. Helps to identify the risk and uh, mitigate, add in controls to mitigate those risks, and also look into the audits without engaging to an external auditing system. Let's look into the functionality, how this work. Whenever a business application is created automatically or by manually by an application owner, GRC detects that new business application and creates an entity automatically. Later, a new risk also will also be created to this entity and some of the risk might be already mapped to this entity. And after creation of new risk, a questionnaire will be triggered to an application owner where application owner tries to respond to that questionnaire. If risk manager haven't been satisfied with the response of application owner, he'll send back for a revision. If the risk manager has been satisfied with the response of application owner, he'll take 10 further steps and initiates an assessment. So once the assessment has been done, the risk manager maps and objects, risk policies and citations to the entity of the business application. Later, the application owner manages the control life cycle and controls the, uh, uh, attests the controls. So by making it in compliance or non-compliance. So let me take you to my demo instance to show how this functionality works. So here, um, GRC comes with a beautiful dashboard, that's a risk overview dashboard, which gives uh, helps risk managers to identify the risk uh, based on the business applications. Here, the risk will be layered based on their impact level. So by means of this uh, overview dashboard, the risk manager can look into the risk and the application owner can create a controls to mitigate those risks. It comes with a beautiful heat maps and risk can be categorized here under this dashboard as well. So let me take you to, my, um, to the all business module where the business applications will be created by an application owner. So under the related list of the business application, before integration with GRC, we can just able to see these tabs over here. And after integration with GRC, we can see these three more tabs will be added under business applications related risk, thus are risk, engagement, and controls. So here for demo purpose, I already created one of the business application that is GRC business application. So as I mentioned earlier, whenever a business application is created, automatically the entity will also be created. So let us go to an audit scoping all entities where we can see the entity has been created. That's GRC business application. So once the entity has been created, automatically some of the risk might be mapped to those entity. And we can also create a new risk over here. And the risk manager will collaborate with the application owner to mitigate those risks by means of sending some assessment or questionnaire to an application owner. So let's go back to a business application and let's look into an engagement here. Here, uh, audit managers create an engagement by adding an entity to an engagement for, 
for an auditing purpose in the future. So for demo purpose, I have already created one of the engagement here by adding an entity to this engagement, which is a business application entity. So whenever the entity has been added to an engagement, uh, the risk and controls associated to this entity will, al will also be automatically mapped to an engagement for an auditing purpose. So that's all about an engagement. And let's go into the final part of our demo. That's about the controls. So the controls should be created here to mitigate those risks here. So I added some of the controls here and added some of the attestations here and the respondents who needs to respond for this attestation. So based on the response of this attestation, uh, the status of the control might change to compliant or non-compliant. So here the attestation was positive, so the status was in compliant here. So when the control status is in compliant, we can notice here under the entity that the compliance score percentage will also be here and keep on increasing, making a compliance status of an entity. So by means of an integration of APM with GRC, that helps an application owner to view the risk, engagement, and controls all at one place. So that's all about the demo. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.